Hello again, everybody. It's just me again. Uh, <laughs> I am making a plain zucchini bread now. Not the chocolate one that I just made. But this is going to be a regular one. And here I have a cup of sugar. And that is the same as I did the other. It's one cup of regular sugar and one cup of the stevia. And it has a fourth of a cup of brown sugar. And that is also the brown sugar with stevia. Try to keep it down as much as I can. And to this I'm going to add two eggs. I'm going to beat this all up. I saw something in here, but it was just a bubble. Okay, now to this, I am going to add two teaspoons full of vanilla. Oops, and I left my zucchini on the other side of the table. So I'm going to go over here and get it. But I'm going to add one cup of the shredded zucchini. And yes, my hands are clean. I wash them probably twice before I get into this stuff and probably once or twice during the process. And a half a cup of vegetable oil. And we're going to set that aside for a minute. And in here, I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, uh, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. And we're going to get that all mixed in together. Um, it's optional if you want to use nuts with this. I choose not to at this point because my friend doesn't really care for nuts. So, none of us is going to get them. But I can do them with them or without them. I just made some banana bread last week. And I added, uh, I just made little mini loaves. I had four of them. I, two I added nuts to and two I didn't. Gave two of them away and kept two. Yes, I kept the one with the nuts. <laughs> okay, we got that done. Okay, they said if you're using nuts, use a half a cup of chopped walnuts. And to that, you will add two tablespoons of flour to coat them. When you coat them and you add it to the mix, it keeps them from uh, sinking clear down to the bottom. Okay, this is to add. Whoops, I almost lost my whisk here. Let me get that out of there. Why is it always just a little bit clinging to the end of the, the whisk? Okay. I'm going to add the dry to the wet. And I got all my stuff mixed up, or mixed up, cleaned up from the first mess. So now I'm having to do it all over again. And again, like the other, I said not to mix it too much, but just until it's combined, because you will, you'll be activating the gluten in them. Me personally, I don't have a problem with gluten. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a problem with anything eating. Losing weight is a struggle. And it's a struggle that a lot of us have to put up with. And then there's people that will eat and eat and eat and eat and never gain an ounce. I 
Okay, now this is all combined. Now, if you're going to add the nuts, now would be the time to add it. And here is my pan. It's already been sprayed, and I didn't use as quite as much spray as I did with the other one. And make sure that I've done everything. Now, I suppose it's all. Pour this in here. And it smells so good. And I will put this in the oven, 350 degrees, for approximately 50 minutes. Of course, like I said before, I don't use necessarily the timer. I will check it for doneness with a toothpick or a little knife or something to stick it in. And I make sure that there's nothing on it come, when it comes out. So make sure it's done. So anyhow, I'm going to put this in the oven and we'll be back later. Well, if you can see it, there is my chocolate zucchini bread. Oh, it smells so good. But anyhow, there it is. And it's just now cooling, so I'm not going to give it a taste test just yet. So we'll be back. Okay, I've just pulled out my regular zucchini bread. And I mean, just pulled it out. I wouldn't even think to touch that pan right now. But I'm going to leave it sit on here for a bit. And then I'm going to put it out on the wire rack and let it cool. I know I've tasted the zucchini bread before and I know it's going to be wonderful. So I'm not even going to do a taste test right at the moment. But I appreciate every single one of you for watching, for commenting, for sharing, for subscribing. Y'all just mean the world to me. Y'all take care. Stay safe. And we'll see y'all later. Oh, by the way, this one also, both of the chocolate zucchini bread and the regular zucchini bread was got from Laura in the Kitchen off of YouTube. Go check her out. Y'all take care. Bye. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Uh... The ending that I put on the two videos on the zucchini bread, whether it's chocolate or the regular, wasn't very good because what I was going to do was to put both videos in one, but it was going to be too long. So then I couldn't figure out an ending for the other, the second video, or the first one either, really. <laughs> Well, I don't want to offend anybody, so I won't say that, but I'll say I just had a little bit of brain fog. How's that? But anyhow, this is what's left. Uh, I did give some of it away. My friend took some to work for with him so that he could have him some lunch or dinner, whatever. But anyhow, what I'm going to do is put these up into freezer bags. And I'm going to put them in the freezer. So that way they'll be good whenever we want them. But anyhow, his favorite was the chocolate. And he's not a real chocolate fan. I mean, he'll eat it, but he's not real... Well, I'll say he doesn't love it. Not like me. I'm a chocoholic. But anyhow, the... Regular, I think, was more moist than the chocolate. That's why I said on the next time I've already added a little note on the recipe to add maybe another half cup of zucchini to this one. So anyhow, I will try my best to remember to put the recipes in the description and if I forget, go over to Laura in the Kitchen. She has videos and recipes on both, both in her videos and in her blog. But go check her out. And I'm going to get these in the freezer. And we'll talk to everybody next video. Y'all stay safe. Stay happy. Tell your loved ones you love them. Because you never know when the last time you're going to see them. But anyhow, y'all take care. Stay safe. And we'll see you later. Bye.